everybody, we are in Yuli, Florida, and we are at the John Muir Ecological Park. I did not know this place existed until I hit the thing that said places of interest near me, and this came up. And I have passed by this place I don't know how many times and never saw it. So you ready to go see what it's about? Just well too. I know we're here, so might as well. So whenever you get out, whenever you get here, you see the busy highway out there. And they do have bathrooms here. Very nice restrooms, already checked it out. And this is only supposed to be a fourth of a mile walk. So that's not very far at all. We shall see what we can see. Oh yeah, apparently they have had problems with the trash cans being taken here. They have got that thing tied down. Or it could be because the wind blows. That is a massive tree right there that fell over. Glad I wasn't here when it fell. Yeah, this is nice. I just wish they had information out here about it. So here is a beautiful view. They don't have a chain on that one. Apparently that one's in a safe location. Yeah, so obviously this place has been here for years. <laughs> and we've been past here, what, probably 20 or 30 times over the years? Maybe more than that. Yeah, because we do like to come to Florida. We come to Florida quite frequently. One reason I'm here right now, because I had two days off back to back. I said, oh, I got to go somewhere. So we're exploring a little bit of Florida and Georgia. So you'll see all those videos coming out over the next few days. And they have a lot of places here if you just want to sit down and relax. I ain't never seen one that got this many. I know, this is nice. Well, it's nice if you like the outdoors. We, we like the outdoors. Oh, 
Oh, they got some information back here, finally. And we have each, well not each, but we have reached the end of the line. So now we shall do what I like to do, read signs. It says John Muir, 1838 to 1914. Born in Scotland on April 21st, 1838, John Muir was a farmer, inventor, sheep herder, naturalist, explorer, writer, and conservationists. After John and his family immigrated to the United States, the Muir family ended up on a farm in Wisconsin. It was on that farm that John learned to love the outdoors and would often roam the fields and woods of the countryside with his brother. In 1860, he entered the University of Wisconsin. It's all kind of flies coming out of me. Where he won a great deal of admiration for his inventions. After three years of college, John decided to leave and travel the northern United States and Canada. He survived by taking odd jobs as he traveled. In 1867, did I say 1860 or 1960? A while ago, it was 1860. <laughs> In 1867, Muir received an eye injury that would change his life forever. When his sight returned, he declined. Well, he decided that he would see the world and record what he saw. <laughs> this sign's missing. Well, not the sign's messed up, but the, the leaves are in front of it. What he saw in order to preserve the beauty of nature. He walked a thousand miles from Indianapolis to the Gulf of Mexico. From this sheer long venture came Muriel's book entitled A Thousand Mile Walk to the Gulf in Chapter 5. Through Florida's swamps and forests, Muir tells of arriving in Fernandina, Florida by way of a steamship called the Sylvan Shore. He describes his trip as he leaves Fernandina and heads west, walking on David Uly's Florida Railroad berm. His graphic details of plant and animal life are well documented and considered a valid record of the harsh, swampy northeast Florida landscape. In the 1880s, his travels took him back to Alaska, Australia, South America, Africa, Europe, China, Japan, and back to Sierra Nevada. In later years, Muriel published 300 articles and 10 major books because Muriel was also involved in the creation of Sequoia, Mount Rainier, Petrified Forest, and Grand Canyon National Parks. He was known as the father of our national park system. In 1892, in order to protect Yosemite National Park against cattlemen, Muir created the Sierra Club and served as president until his death in 1914. John Muir was a very famous and influential naturalist and conservationist. He taught people the importance of preserving and protecting this country's natural heritage. He has inspired environmentalists and people everywhere with his love of nature and leaves his legacy in our national park system. And over here, we have another sign. So this one says Historic Florida Railroad. Florida resident and United States Senator David L. Uly incorporated the Florida Railroad Company on January 8th, 1853. Built between 18... Looks like 56. And 1861, the railroad connected Fernandina Beach to Cedar Key, a distance of 155 miles. This railroad was the first across Florida in Nassau County. Rail stops and communities along the line included Fernandina Beach, O'Neill, Lofton, Uly, Whitsville, Italia, Callahan, Crawford, Dahoma, Dutton, Ingleheim, and Bryceville. The Florida Railroad was crucial in the history of the community of Hearts Road, known today as Uly. Between 1856 and 1857, the commonly, well, the, I can't even talk, the community emerged as a direct result of the railroad construction through the area. In 1858, postal service was established. The rail depot became the center of activity in the town, which was a turpentine exporter in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. By the time Hart's Road was renamed Uly in 1893, a second railroad line connected the town to Jacksonville, and this line later extended to Georgia. The importance of the railroad declined during the 20th century with the improvement of Florida's roads. Segments of the railroad were abandoned beginning in the 1930s 
in Levy, Alachua, and Nassau counties. Presently, the railroad is still active in Nassau County from Fernandina Beach to Yulee and from Callahan South to the Nassau County line. Remains of the abandoned railroad can still be found along the 15 mile segment between Yulee and Callahan. So there is your Florida history for today. I did not know it either. And I don't know what that is in that tree. I don't know if it's paper towels, underwear, or what it could be, I don't know. So mom, how'd you like this little walk in the woods? I like, they got the little shelters. If you get caught in a rainstorm, you get, get back to where you came from. Yeah, you can just run from one to another because it's not far. Other. And then you can make it back to your car. I did not know this was here. Like I say, we've passed by many, many times. And no clue. We have passed by here many a times and didn't read the sign. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure we've been going to like Amelia Island for at least the last 10 years. It's It's been oh, a while. Man. So, it's one of my favorite spots in Florida. And we did not know this existed. Shows how much attention we pay. Okay. <laughs> but if you don't know, you don't know, right? Well, you don't live down here. I don't I, live I mean, down here, but... We don't live down here, so I, therefore, some things... Is new is, to us. It's definitely new to us. And maybe it'll be new to you too, <laughs> if you've and, never seen it before. And some of the people in Florida may not know it's down here neither. That's true. That is true. It's right after you pass the post office on a That's Yeah, that's if you're coming back from Fernandina Beach back towards Yulee, back to Interstate 95. And if you're getting off of 95 and you go into Yulee, I think if you pass the railroad right. track, you've gone too far, right? If you're coming from 95 it, it, no, heading to Fernandina. if you pass the post office, you've gone too far. Well, I heard a train somewhere, too. Where the train track to? Train there, See too. how we talk whenever we're having discussions. Well, the, the post office and then the, like, our own museum, like. But I will show you the sign out there at the road so you can see how the sign looks so you'll know that you're here. I didn't <laughs> we know never it saw was here. It. Never. So that's going to do it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed seeing a and, little part of and Florida. And following us, look down at your shirt. Traveling the southeast. Yes, traveling the southeast. And she is traveling the southeast today as well. I'm driving so, the southeast. Well, you're still traveling. But anyway, if you like it, like it. You can comment. Go ahead and subscribe. Yes, that subscribe. That would help us out a lot. Yes, we're, we're growing. We're growing. Slowly but surely. Slowly. So. Slowly. But it will get there. Let's hope so. So. If I don't die first. <laughs> we don't want you to die. <laughs> oh, Lord. See how she always has to put something in these videos. But anyway, if you did like it, <laughs> just thumb it up <laughs> or whatever. Anyway, see you later. Bye. So, Mom just noticed that there is a branch running through here. And I did not see this while ago near we were originally coming through. But that is really pretty as well. And it's kind of special too, you know, knowing that you've walked now where John Muir walked because he's got a lot of fabulous quotes about nature and all that stuff. And we are certainly nature lovers. We were not always that way, but we turned that way. I used to be happy being in air conditioning all the time, but here I am now out here in 90 degree weather. <laughs> and this kind of stuff but it makes me happy so that's all that matters and then now since i do youtube i can share it with others so this is the sign at the road so if you're ever passing by and you're in Yulee, florida you can stop in it's a very easy fourth of a mile walk through the woods and then you can say that you've been where John Muir has. So, that's gonna do it for today for Florida history. Unless I find somewhere else in Florida to go, but we shall see. But anyway, hope you enjoy the video. See you later, bye.